Girls, my name's Jason, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I want to talk to you about my brand new air powered grinding helmet. It is from Aircos Welltech. It's a brand that I've never heard of before but when I was looking for this system I was getting fed up with the half face masks, full face masks, goggles and that lot because they weren't working for me. I was still getting stuff in my eyes and it was affecting me quite badly. So I bit the bullet and bought this. It's a reasonable price for what it is. If you look at the 3M Versaflow, it is well into the thousand pound mark in the UK and in the United States it's probably into the 12, 13, 1400 dollar mark. But for the same price you could buy the clear welding helmet, uh, the clear grinding helmet and a whole nother system for the welding helmet for the same price. Prices for these vary, they vary from about £380 up to about £450 but in my opinion they are well worth the money. Ever since I started using it at the end of the day I'm feeling a lot better about myself. I'm not tired, worn out, fed up of having something on your face all day. It doesn't help that I've got a beard. But yeah, so what we're going to do is I'll zoom you in closer so we can take a closer look at all these things. Back in a minute. Right, so let's start at the business end of all this. We've got the helmet here. Clear plastic helmet. You can buy spares for all of these on the internet. I have found a website. I will put the link in the description for it. But looking at the, the prices, the the visors themselves, these do come out and you can replace them and they are roughly about £10 each. But you might be able to find a deal out there somewhere if you look a little bit harder than I did. But as I say, because it's new, I've not been in the position where I've needed to buy one yet. So anyway, full face visor, nice and clear. Turn it over. Nice cowl that goes under your neck. Trouble with this one is it's got side covers on it so they do cover over your ears so you cannot put ear defenders on it you'll have to use earbuds but it's the 21st century everyone nowadays is using earbuds so they can listen to music at the same time I found it's nice and comfy even with this strap under your chin eventually the elastic will loosen a little bit and be more comfortable but once you get into grinding that like you don't concentrate on it all you're concentrating on is the nice, cool airflow that's coming down over your face. Adjustable headband, obviously. To fit it to your head. You can also fit it across here to get the width of your head as well. When the air comes out, it comes out of this part here. And when you've got the visor down, it'll be blowing directly on the lens itself. So it will not, well, should not, fog up, which... Trust me, I've tried, because I'm a child, and I do that sort of stuff. Alright, moving on. Obviously you've got your, let's move that out of the way. You've got your power pack here. It comes with a removable battery on the back. Easy to take apart. Slide it out. This battery should last up to eight hours worth of work. Simple little charger plug in the bottom, take it home with you at night or take it into the house, put it on charge, leave it on, smart charger, it'll sort itself. When you're ready to go again, bring it back until it clicks back in. Comes with this nice comfortable belt, not as cumbersome as you think, it is comfortable. You can hardly feel it because the whole total weight of the whole system is 1.1 kilograms or 2.6 pounds. But yeah, I haven't found any problems with it. It's got some nice loud beeping on it to let you know that it's turned on. So you'll push it once and it'll beep at you and then it'll start up. It'll start in low flow and then you push it again and it'll go into high flow. It's also got a low battery warning and a blocked filter warning. Move on to this pipe. It's quite simple this pipe, it's just a twist and lock system so you put it in, twist it one way or the other and that's it, it's in now. It won't come out and obviously the other end goes into your helmet. Filter. 
on it. There we go. That's all it is. A little filter. You've got a pre-filter on there that does all the main chunky bits, as you can see. It's got a fair bit of debris on there at the moment, and I've only used it a handful of times at now. And then you've got your main one, I think it's a 7 micron filter, but don't quote me on that, I will check later and I'll edit it in to see what it says. They do class the filters themselves as reusable, so you can blow them back out, but if you're partial to spending a bit of money, you can find new ones. They're about £20 they are. These pre-filters that I found are quite expensive for what they are. I'm sure you could come up with a way of making something else for yourself so you're not wasting your money. But anyway, it just slips on over this part here. Nice and firm in. Close the door and away you go. Some of you saw this here. This will come in the box as well. It's an airflow meter. It's an indicator just to see if it is pushing air or not. We'll just pop it in the top there and then that's on. And you see that's on low flow, ball's hovering halfway, or ball widget, whatever you want to call it. If you know what a widget is, comment in the comment section because there's a lot of people out there who don't know what a widget is and I've had this conversation today. Low flow, high flow and it's pegged. Turn it off, push and hold. Done. You will get this little tote bag that it comes with so you can carry it around, but yeah, that'll probably get thrown in the corner. But yeah, it's only a small short video that I wanted to share with you about this product, and since I've started using it, I've noticed that I do feel a lot better after I've been doing work all day. And I'd highly recommend for you to make the investment and to buy one, because they are worth it. If you want to go down the lines of the 3M Versaflow, that's entirely your choice. But for now, this is working exactly the same as one of them would. <clears throat> and it's, well, less than half the price. So, choice is yours whether you want to do that or not. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about it, ask away in the comment section. I'll try and answer it. And just so you know, I'm no way affiliated with this product. I've not been given this. I've bought this off my own back and I've spent my own money on it. And I highly recommend it so far. Right, so to cover it all, great product. I'll give you more updates as I go along and if you do put a comment in the comment section, I'll try and answer it and I'll keep you updated as I go along how well it's performing, how long the battery's gonna last for and that lot. And I'll put a link to a parts page as well as a description of the product so a more in-depth detail so you get all the bump for buying. Now comes the shameless part, to plug my Etsy account. I do sell hammers on my Etsy account at Truel and Brook Forge, I'll put a link in the description. But these are some of the products that I make. Some dog's heads hammers, slight domed end on them. To help with Beverly, I've got straight peens, little cross peens, and everyone's favorite little hammer no blacksmith should be without the rounded hammer round face one side flat the other great piece of kit 
All the links will be in the description about where to find these hammers and I do try and keep my prices down as much as I can so you guys at home can get your hands on some decent kit and for not stupid prices because nowadays it's the world's getting expensive. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.